Naruto Shippuden is the continuation of the hugely successful manga and anime, Naruto, created by Masashi Kishimoto. Shibuden picks up several years after the events of the first series ended. In my first video on Naruto, which you can view by clicking below or in the upper right hand corner of the screen, we examined the real world mythological and cultural sources that inspired the first Naruto series. In this video, we're going to do the same for Shibuden, as well as a few details we skipped from the first Naruto series in the last video. But before we do, if you'd like to see more cultural breakdowns of anime from this channel, give the video a like and subscribe. Let's get started. In the first Naruto video, we looked at how the magical forces of the Naruto universe operate through chakra, and the quest of the hero, Naruto Uzumaki, to acquire a mastery of chakra so he can protect his friends, community, and become Hokage. Individual shinobi are able to exploit chakra through the Keke Genkai, or Bloodline Limit, a genetic mutation that grants specific powers to the carrier and manifests in various types of jutsu, including dojutsu, or techniques cast from the eyes, not unlike the legendary Evil Eye, which many cultures throughout history believe could bring injury, misfortune, or death to those it was directed against, unless they were protected by a charm like a Hamsa. The Sharingan, or Mirror Wheel Eye, can dispel or create illusions, and causes three marks to appear in a triangular pattern around the pupil. In Japanese culture, these marks are called Tomoe, which is a comma-shaped swirl symbol used in heraldic badges throughout history. The shape of the symbol is also reminiscent of sacred beads called Magatama, which we'll hear about later. A pattern of three Tomoe in a triangle is known as Mitsudomoe but is also the royal crest of the Ryukyu Kingdom, from what is today Okinawa, Japan. The Mangekyo Sharingan, or Kaleidoscope Copy Wheel Eye, adopts the shape of a rotating shuriken before morphing into a number of different patterns and activating a variety of dojutsu techniques, which we'll touch on later. The Rinnegan, meaning Samsara Eye, or Eye of Six Paths, is a vortex of spinning concentric circles with Tomoe arranged in triangular patterns of three, six, or nine. Samsara is a term that applies to several religions, but in Buddhism it refers to a cycle of life, death, and rebirth, through six realms or paths. There are several references to these six paths in Naruto, like the six paths of pain technique, used by the character Pain, aka Nagato Uzumaki. This technique also requires the Rinnegan and is used to animate and control six bodies or paths, each named after one of the six paths of reincarnation in Buddhism. The six paths of pain are Deva, meaning God, Asura, which is usually translated to demigod, human, animal, Prita, meaning hungry ghost, and Naraka, meaning hell. In Buddhism, each of these is a potential realm or path a being may enter into depending on the karma it accumulated. The jutsu of each of these six paths also references to some extent the path it is named after. For example, the Deva or God path created from the body of Nagato's former friend Yahiko, manipulates gravity and movement and is regarded as the most powerful or godlike. Also, the Deva Path's Shinra Tensei technique is derived from the Japanese idiom Shinra Bansho, meaning everything covered by God. The Asura Path augments the body and at times appears with multiple faces and six arms, very much like the Asura, as they are depicted in Buddhist iconography. The Human Path manipulates the human mind and soul, the animal path controls animals, those two are self-explanatory, the Prita path consumes chakra like a Prita or hungry ghost, and finally the Naraka or hell path summons the king of hell, a reference to the king of hell in Buddhism, Yama, or Enma in Japan. Continuing on with more dojutsu eye symbolism, I mentioned several dojutsu techniques in the first video which referenced gods or deities of Japan's Shinto religion, and in Shippuden we are introduced to several more, for example, the Izanagi and Izanami genjutsu techniques, which both manipulate reality. In the Japanese creation myth, Izanagi and Izanami are creator deities, siblings, and consorts. Don't worry about it. As dojutsu techniques, both Izanagi and Izanami render the user's Sharingan eye blind, which might be a reference to the world of darkness, or realm of the dead, Yomi, where Izanagi traveled to retrieve his sister. The Izanami technique also traps the victim within a time loop of repeated behavior, like a person lost in Yomi. After he illuminated the underworld and realized his sister's decayed and rotting state, Izanagi fled the underworld to a river, where he performed a purification ritual called Misogi, during which three new deities were born, 
the goddess of the sun, Amaterasu, was washed from his left eye, the god of the moon, Tsukuyomi, from his right, and the god of the sea and storms, Susanoo, from his nose. All three of these deities are also the names of dojutsu techniques performed by the Uchiha and Otsutsuki clans with the Mangekyo Sharingan. The sun goddess is represented by a fire release technique, the moon god by a genjutsu illusion in which we see a red moon, and the god of the sea and storms is represented, oddly, by a giant humanoid avatar that resembles a tengu, or humanoid bird yokai, from Japanese folklore, and specifically the larger, more powerful daitengu. Itachi Uchiha's Susanoo avatar also wields three ethereal weapons, the sword of Totsuka, the Yata mirror shield, and Yasaka Magatama chakra technique. All three of these together are a reference to the Sanshu no Jingi, or Japanese imperial regalia, which is made up of three sacred objects, the Kusanagi no Tsurugi sword, Yata no Kagami mirror, and Yasakani no Magatama jewel. As I mentioned in the previous video, the sword of Kusanagi is actually wielded by Orochimaru in Naruto. However, Totsuka no Tsurugi, meaning Ten Hands Long Sword, is a general term for the type of sword usually found in Japanese mythology, like the Kusanagi sword. In mythology, this sword is wielded by Susanoo, who discovered it in the body of the eight-headed serpent Yamata no Orochi after he slayed it. Similarly, Itachi Uchiha used his Susanoo against Orochimaru's Eight Branches Serpent, and Orochimaru even emerged from within the serpent with his Kusanagi sword. However, Itachi used his Totsuka sword to defeat the serpent and trap Orochimaru in a genjutsu of drunken dreams. When Itachi does this, his Totsuka sword resembles a gourd, which is a reference to the sake, or wine, Susanoo gave the eight-headed serpent in mythology, in order to slay it. Moving on to even more Japanese mythology referenced by Mangekyo Sharingan Dojutsu, the Kagutsuchi Blaze release is fittingly a reference to the Shinto god of fire, Kagutsuchi. The Kotoa Matsukami Genjutsu is named after a group of five Shinto deities called the Distinguished Heavenly Gods, and the various Kamui techniques are a reference to the indigenous people of northern Japan, the Ainu. In their language, Kamui means god or divine being, similar to the Japanese term Kami. But who is able to attain these godlike levels of power? The answer is the source of the Uchiha, Senju, and Uzumaki clans, the Otsutsuki clan. In a shocking revelation near the end of Shippuden, it is revealed that the villain behind the scenes of the entire series is a character named Kagoya Otsutsuki, who became the first wielder of chakra on Earth after she ate the fruit of the God Tree. The God Tree grew from a seed brought to Earth by a meteorite in prehistoric times, and has similarities to the world tree Yggdrasil from Norse mythology, the tree of knowledge in the biblical book of Genesis, the ginseng fruit tree from the classic Chinese novel Journey to the West, as well as the blood-sucking tree yokai from Japanese folklore called Juboko. Both the god tree and the legendary Juboko gain power by soaking up human blood from battlefields. Centuries ago, Kaguya was sent to Earth to nurture the god tree, but instead she ate the fruit and became the first being on Earth endowed with chakra, very much like the legendary monkey king Sun Wukong of Chinese mythology and the Journey to the West novel, who was charged with guarding the peaches of immortality, but instead decided to eat them. As well as to some extent Eve, who along with Adam, ate from a tree of forbidden fruit in the Abrahamic religions. Kaguya established herself as the savior of humanity and was worshipped as the rabbit goddess. However, over time, she became a cruel and despotic ruler, and her clan turned against her. Kaguya's children, Hagoromo, aka the Sage of Six Paths, and Hamura, realized that to protect the world and the human race, they had to stop their own mother. Incidentally, their father, Emperor Tenji of the Land of Ancestors, is named after the real-life 38th Emperor of Japan, and the clothing of his people is based on the clothing of the Japanese Yayoi period. Kaguya merged with the God Tree itself to absorb its power, becoming the Ten Tails, before her son saved the world from her wrath by imprisoning Kaguya's physical form inside a celestial body called the Moon, where Hamura stayed while the Ten Tails was split into nine individual forces by Hagoromo, which became the Nine Tailed Beasts. The character of Kaguya Otsutsuki is inspired by Princess Kaguya, the moon princess found inside a stalk of bamboo in the classic Japanese tale Takitori Monogatari, or The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter, which was written over 1,000 years ago. Kaguya's son, Hagoromo, also takes his name from The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter, 
Hagoromo literally means feather robe, and is reference to the feather robe Princess Kaguya receives before she returns to the moon. This classic Japanese tale is in part inspired by the Chinese legend of Chang'e, the goddess of the moon, who also appears in the Journey to the West novel. Aside from Chang'e, Naruto's Kaguya definitely took her rabbit goddess title, and also her rabbit ear-like horns, from Chang'e's companion in the legend, the moon rabbit or jade rabbit. However, another interesting connection to this legend is found in the Ten-Tailed Beast. In Chinese mythology, there was a time when the world was threatened by ten suns. As the earth burned under ferocious heat, Chang'e's husband, Ho Yi, shot down nine suns, leaving only one in the sky. In one version of the story, Ho Yi was given an elixir of immortality as a reward and was crowned king. However, he became a tyrant. To protect the people, Chang'e drank the elixir herself and then ascended to the moon. In Naruto, Kaguya was the tyrant, however in both tales the problem is solved when the goddess ascends to the moon. Or in Kaguya Otsutsuki's case, she is trapped inside it. The Otsutsuki clan's name roughly translates to Big Bamboo Tree, and is an obscure reference to the father of a consort of the 11th Emperor of Japan, Suinin. The consort was called Kaguya Himnomikoto, and along with Chang'e, is thought to be an inspiration for Princess Kaguya in the Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. Her father was named Otsutsuki Tarine no Miko, which is also the name of Kaguya's father in the Naruto manga, and thus we get the origin of Kaguya Otsutsuki's full name. Like the Uchihas, the Otsutsuki have their own powerful Keke Genkai, or rather Keke Mora, encompassing bloodline dojutsu called the Rinne Sharingan, or Samsara Copywheel Eye, which is the predecessor of both the Rinnegan and Sharingan. The Rinne Sharingan manifests in its user as a third eye, which in Hinduism and Buddhism is a symbol of enlightenment and is attributed to the Ajna Chakra, located in the center of the brow. It is thought to be the source of imagination, visualization, and extrasensory perception. Thus it is fitting that in Naruto, it is used by Kagoya to control the imagination and perception of those on Earth through the most powerful genjutsu known as the infinite Tsukuyomi. Like the standard Tsukuyomi technique, this more powerful variation is also named after the Shinto god of the moon, and thus it must be reflected off of the moon in order to trap its victims in a dream. Another powerful dojutsu used by Kaguya through her Rinne Sharingan is the Ameno Minaka, which can alter the dimensions around her. This technique is named after Ameno Minakanoshi, a Shinto deity thought to be one of the very first in existence, and one of the five Kotoa Matsukami. While we already covered Kaguya's son Hagoromo's name, the names of his sons, Ashura and Indra, are once again references to Buddhism and Hinduism. I already mentioned that Asura, to use the Sanskrit pronunciation, is usually translated as demigod, however in truth, the Asura are like a separate faction of supernatural underworld beings at war with the celestial beings known as the Devas. In Hinduism, the king of the Devas is called Indra, or Chakra in Buddhism. And thus Indra and Ashura are at odds in mythology as well. Another reference to this is found in the series intro that begins at episode 406. We first see Indra and Ashura, then their various reincarnations including Sasuke and Naruto. Behind Sasuke is what looks like a depiction of Chakra, aka Indra, while behind Naruto is an image of what looks like a Buddhist Asura. Aside from Buddhism and Hinduism, there is also an influence from Taoism and ancient Chinese philosophy on the series. For example, the Eight Gates, which Mike Guy opens all of to go head-to-head -head with Madara Uchiha. These are likely a reference to Bagua, or the Eight Trigrams of Taoist Cosmology, which represent eight interrelating principles of reality. This concept influenced the practice of Qimen Dunjia, an ancient Chinese form of divination through Eight Gates. The Eight Gates can also be found in the techniques of real martial arts, like Tai Chi Chuan and Bagua Zhang. The latter martial art has a technique called the 64 hands or palms, like the 8 trigram 64 palms taijutsu technique in Naruto. This is also a reference to the 64 hexagrams of the I Ching. After the death of Hagoromo Otsutsuki, each of the bijou, or tailed beasts, was scattered and sealed within an individual human being, known as a jinchuriki. In some cases, the beasts formed a symbiotic relationship with their jinchuriki hosts, who are able to utilize the chakra of the beast for their own ends. In this sense, a parallel for the Jinchuriki beast relationship can be found in the concept of totemism, which is a religious belief that humans have a kinship or mystical connection to a spirit being, such as an animal or plant, which serves that human as their totem. 
However, the ultimate goal of all tailed beasts is to be released from their human prisons, which would result in the death of the host in most cases. The kanji for Jinchuriki literally means power of human sacrifice, indicating that the host may sacrifice their lives in order to control the forces within them. In this way, the Jinchuriki and their beasts are similar to the concept of the divine spark, which religions such as Gnosticism aim to release from within the human form. In Japanese and Asian folklore, extra tails on an animal is thought to represent supernatural power. If an animal lives to an unusually long age, it may grow extra tails and acquire even more power. In the case of the fox, acquiring nine tails at the height of its power. So let's start with the one tail and work our way up. The one tailed beast is Shukaku, who we covered in the previous video but will again briefly. Shukaku's appearance, especially the dark band across the eyes, is based on a Japanese yokai and actual animal known as a tanuki, or Japanese raccoon dog. Tanuki were attributed special powers in folklore, most notably the ability to shapeshift. In one variation of a folk story called Bunbuku Chagama, Buddhist priests of the Morinji Temple found their tea kettle, or Chagama, had been replaced by a tanuki imitating its shape. In another version of this tale, the kettle was owned by a priest named Shukaku, who turned out to be a tanuki himself. Naruto Shukaku, or the One Tail, was also sealed inside a tea kettle, and its first Jinchuriki was a priest named Bunpuku, before it was eventually sealed inside Gara. In Japanese mythology, tanuki are often paired with the kitsune, or fox, as rivals. Accordingly, there is a great rivalry between Shukaku and Kurama, the nine-tailed beast based on the mythical kitsune, sealed inside Naruto himself. Matatabi, the two-tailed beast, appears as a giant feline wreathed in blue and black flames, and is a reference to the two-tailed or fork-tailed cat yokai called Nekomata. In Japanese folklore, when cats live longer than usual, they become Bake Neko, or cat demons, after which they walk on two legs, develop human speech, as well as other magical abilities. Another especially fearsome kind of cat demon is the Nekomata which is created when an old cat's tail grows too long and splits in two. Nekomata are said to be as large as wild boars and have a taste for human flesh. The fact that Matatabi is made up of flames may also be a reference to the Kasha, a flaming corpse-stealing yokai often depicted as a flaming cat demon. Isobu, the three-tailed beast, is a combination of a turtle, crab, and mythical shark-like sea monster with a barbed tail fin called Isonade. Turtles or tortoises are significant in Chinese and general East Asian culture as one of the four symbols or four guardians that guard over the four directions. These are also the inspiration for the four symbol seal in Naruto. In more obscure Japanese folklore, those who eat too much supon or turtle soup may be haunted by the supon no yore or turtle soup ghosts. The other element of the three-tailed beast, the isonade, is thought to haunt Japan's seashores hunting for boats with human prey, which it drags underwater with its massive barbed tail. Like Isobu's tails, but the Isonade only has one. The four-tailed beast is Son Goku, another reference to the legendary monkey king, Son Wukong. In fact, the name Son Goku is simply the onyomi or Japanese reading of the Chinese characters for Son Wukong. Yes, Akira Toriyama was aware of that. The four tales' names, Handsome Monkey King and Great Sage Equaling Heaven, are also taken directly from Sun Wukong's titles, and its brow horns are modeled after Wukong's diadem. Aside from the Monkey King in Chinese myth, the four tailed beast may also be partly inspired by the Satori, a mythical ape like flesh eating yokai dwelling in Japan's mountains, although in truth, the four tales is more likely inspired by the Saiyan Ozaru form from Dragon Ball, and actually Kishimoto admitted that. The name of the five-tailed beast, Kokuo, translates as Respectful King, and is taken from a real monarch who ruled China in the 10th century BC called Mu of Zhao, or rather his Japanese name, Bukuo. While most of Naruto's tailed beasts are based on mythical monsters, Kishimoto once said that Kokuo was a mixture of a horse, dolphin, and whale. However, Kokuo's elegant horse or deer-like form and horns make it look a little bit like the mythical beast known as the Kirin, from Japanese and general Asian lore. The Kirin is basically Asia's unicorn, although it is often depicted with more than one horn, and it is thought to have a dragon's body, the horns and legs of a deer, and the tail of a lion. Not exactly a horse, dolphin, and whale, but close enough. While we're on the subject, Kirin also happens to be the name of a lightning release jutsu used by Sasuke Uchiha, and this technique may be inspired by the Kirin's connection to ki or chi energy. 
The six-tailed beast, or Saiken, whose name translates as rhinoceros dog, resembles a huge slug entirely covered in a thick, slimy substance. Saiken bears some similarities to the giant turban snail yokai called Sazai Oni. However, Kondachi's Conch King summon probably resembles the Sazai Oni more so. The six tails more resembles the yokai known as Name Kujira, or the slug whale, which have been said to grow almost 182 meters in length. Chomei, the seven-tailed beast, is an insectoid creature who appears close to a rhinoceros beetle in some ways, if it was mixed with the kaiju Mothra. The kanji of its name means heavy brightness, which is the name of Kamo no Chomei, a 12th century poet remembered for his observations of the natural world. Beetles occupy a special place in Japanese culture, as from ancient times, children have searched for prized specimens, especially Kabutomushi, the Japanese rhinoceros beetle, and Kuwagatamushi, the stag beetle. After capturing these trophy insects, they may even pit them against each other in six-legged gladiator games. The name of the eight-tailed beast, Gyuki, translates as cow demon or ox ogre, and is an alternative name for a yokai called Ushioni. In Japanese legend, the Ushioni is a huge aggressive creature with the horned head of a bull and a body that resembles a crab or spider, which is very close to the appearance of the eight-tailed beast, only its lower body more resembles an eight-legged octopus. Also, I can't forget that the A-Tail's rapping Jinchuriki, Killer B, takes his name from the hip-hop group the Wu-Tang Clan, from the slums of Shaolin. They refer to themselves as Killer Bees. Kurama, the nine-tailed beast, which has Naruto himself as a Jinchuriki, resembles one of Japan's most iconic yokai, the Kitsune, or Fox. From the series' very beginning, Naruto has been associated with foxes, and their capacity for cunning in one moment and impulsive action in the next. Shapeshifting foxes with multiple tails can be found in folklore across Asia, sometimes gaining a new tail every hundred years until they reach the full nine, at which point they are known as Kyubi no Kitsune, or Nine-Tailed Fox. Finally, we come to the Ten Tails, Jubi. The Ten Tails has multiple forms which are quite unique in appearance, aside from the Cyclops-like single eye. However, one of its names, Dei Derabachi, is very similar to Dai Derabachi, the name of a massive yokai, who, like the Ten Tails, is known for altering the landscape. In fact, they are both known to carry mountains. Another of the Ten Tails' names is Datara, which might be a reference to Ipon Datara, a one-legged yokai who was also thought to be a blacksmith. Aside from the tailed beasts, there are also a number of other references to yokai from Japanese folklore in the series. For example, Tamari's sickle weasel, or Kamaitachi wind release technique, is named after a wind riding weasel yokai of the same name, recorded by scholar Toriyama Sekien. Danzo Shimura summons a yokai from folklore known as a baku, or dream eater, although rather he uses it to free Sasuke's Susano. Danzo himself resembles a yokai when he reveals his arm of many Sharingan eyes. This looks very similar to a yokai also recorded by Toriyama Sekien called the Dodomeki, that was said to resemble a woman with long arms covered in many eyes. One tale describes this yokai as an oni who is completely covered in eyes, which more resembles Shinyu Chiha, although he also resembles the many-eyed Greek giant Argos Panoptes. While we're on the subject of Greek mythology, one of the summons of the animal path is a multi-headed, sometimes three-headed dog, which resembles the Greek guardian of the underworld, Cerberus. However, the animal path's dogs also appear with wings, which resembles the Japanese yokai called Hainu. And the animal path's giant centipede resembles a yokai called Omukade. Danzo's group, called Root, created another yokai called Nue, which is also based on a yokai of folklore thought to have the head of a monkey, the legs of a tiger, the body of a dog, and a snake-headed tail. But we don't actually see Nue until Boruto. So let me know if I should do a follow-up to this video that covers the mythology and culture behind the Boruto series. Those are all the mythological and cultural references I'm going to cover in this video. While I know I didn't cover everything, those are the references I found most interesting in Naruto Shippuden. If you notice a cultural reference in Shippuden that I missed in this video, let me know what it is in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my first Naruto video, as well as my video on One Piece and several videos on the Studio Ghibli films, linked on the screen. Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss more cultural breakdowns of anime. Thanks for watching, and until next time, believe it.